What's up guys? So I just got to the zero gravity gym and I'm about to hit legs with my team today. Training with the coaches, gonna check in, make sure that I am right on track for my upcoming shows in March. You guys know that I am prepping for the Arnold Classic Australia and potentially one show the week right before the Arnold Classic Australia. So we're gonna hit legs hard today and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I usually drive out here about once a week. It's about an hour and a half drive, but it's so worth it. We train super hard and then I'm able to check in, make sure that I'm on track and it just kind of eases my mind and helps me feel confident and comfortable with where I am in prep. You know, I truly believe that and everyone can benefit from working with a trainer, working with a coach, even the best of the best have coaches. You ask Mr. Olympia, you ask Miss Bikini Olympia, you ask the top bodybuilders in the world. None of them train or prep themselves. They all have coaches. You can be a skilled and talented coach yourself, but the thing about this sport is a lot of it is so mental. And when you're prepping, it's hard not to get into your own head and second guess yourself. And so having a coach kind of takes that mental stress off. So that's that. We are about to hit legs. Follow along. Here we go. Motivation. It's mid workout motivation? Yeah. My motivation is to get through the <laughs> <laughs> He's killing us. Yeah. So you gotta squeeze the booty. The uglier your butt looks when you're doing legs, the better it looks in life. Am I right, Ryan? <laughs> chat with Amanda, Emily, Marie, and Randy, and <laughs> Marie, I'm putting you on blast right now. So Marie just sends a text, when you still have no mirror but need to check if your leggings are squat proof, and then she sends this photo. <laughs> I'm literally sitting in the car dying. <laughs> Marie, your leggings are squat proof. This, this works. We <laughs> 
So Marie just moved into our apartment complex and she's still waiting on like a ton of her furniture and stuff to get delivered. So, so she doesn't have a full length mirror. So she sends us a Belfie, AKA a butt selfie. Love it. The things you do in group chats with your besties. Work date with my girls. Hi. Um, Hello. Amanda, Hi. Randy. Midday, we're all just getting a bunch of work done, but I have something that I want to show you guys. So today, the bodybuilding.com Bodies of Work Volume 5 just launched. It went live. Woo Yay! Woo and we're gonna scroll down. Wait, wait, wait Did for it. it. Wait Woo! for it, wait for it, wait for it. There you are. I love that one. Uh-oh. That one's my favorite one. Here I am. Picture number one, number two. So pretty. Three. And the last one. So I'm so excited. I'm so proud Yay. of you. Finally share this with you guys. This was um, something that, that was so cool. <laughs> I shot this uh, at Olympia. Just looking at her bum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a feature that I have seriously just admired for so many, so many years and just dreamt of doing. So it's an absolute honor to have had the opportunity to do this. And I really just truly feel like it's so artistic and it showcases the body in its most natural and rawest and purest form and just honestly shows what we're truly capable of. So I hope that you guys love it. I will put the link in the description box below. I hope that you guys find it as artistic as I do and that hopefully you can get some inspiration from it. A lot of people asked me if I felt nervous or apprehensive going into this shoot because obviously it is um, a pretty revealing shoot, but I truthfully did not feel any apprehension going into it. I went into it feeling confident and just excited for what I feel the feature really stands for. I think that it exhibits so much confidence and so much strength. I just kind of let go of any of the fear that I had of being naked in front of the camera and in front of photographers and um, just kind of embraced the beauty behind the whole concept. Just letting go of that fear was something that was that allowed me to go in and do something like this. So yeah, I have gotten questions about it and that's sort of my interpretation of it and how I was able to go into a shoot like this feeling confident. <laughs> so if you guys feel like holding a pose like this might be challenging, Try doing it when you're completely <laughs> oiled up and when you have freezing cold water literally just pouring down on your face and on your entire body and you're trying to hold so still. I cannot even tell you how I can't even tell you how many times I like fell, how many times Alan had to like jump in and like Whole, like grab me from falling on my face so yeah it looks really like nice and graceful and pretty there but I promise you that was not the case like 150 outtakes before this. No. <laughs> well, go check it out I hope that you guys like it and I'm going to end today's vlog here thank you guys so much for watching as always I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next episode